Okay, all right. So today we're going to be looking at uh, the second section of director's notebook. Now, you've read the script, you've understood it. You've gone through uh, the bio of the playwright. Now you understand the playwright. You've gone through the themes. Now you know the themes and you have compared the play with other plays. Then what do you do next? So as a director, you need to look at the play and look at what are the staging options for this play? What kind of a setting would you need for this play? For example, if a play was written for a UK audience, do you still want to maintain uh, a UK audience? Because that means that you have to be using UK accent, UK costumes, UK set, UK props. Or would you want to change it and make it more of a Qatar audience? Uh, and that means changing uh, the name of the locations, changing the names of the characters, uh, changing the look of the set, the props, the costumes as well. So what kind of setting are you thinking about? And what kind of audience would you be dealing with when you're uh, working with this play? Now, as a director, as you're making these uh, choices, you have to look at the choices that have been done by other directors before. I am so sure that if the play has been staged like five times by different directors, each director has taken a different angle. So take these five directors and analyze them, analyze their decisions and their choices. What aspects do you want to bring in front, either in terms of themes or elements of spectacle? What themes do you want the audience to see? And in what ways are you going to present these themes to the audience? And when you're thinking about uh, these decisions, you have to think about acting techniques. You have to think about light, sound. You have to think about the set. Uh, you have to think about the props because all these are the things that actually bring out the themes. Um, when you look at the play, what picture or image summarizes uh, this particular uh, play? Come up with a picture or an image that you think summarizes the entire play. Now, as a director, you have to also explain how do you feel when you read this play? And how do you feel uh, uh, putting all these ideas together for them to be presented to an audience? It is always uh, advisable to talk about your feelings and, and, and your journey as you're putting this play together. Now, the next thing that is very important is that you have to look at the audience that you have and what actors need to do to actually create a certain relationship between them and the audience. If a play does not have a, a process of breaking the fourth wall, do you want to include that? Is there an importance of that? Uh, if a play does not have a, a narrator, is the audience always in need of a narrator, even if the plot does not have one? So you have to look at the need of the audience and how you're going to create the relationship between the actors and the audience. So that is uh, among the things that you need to look at in the second uh, part. But the last thing that you also have to look at is what are you going to do uh, to this particular play to, uh, to fit a modern audience? A modern audience is the audience of today. Because if you look at plays that were written five or ten years ago, definitely there are things that you need to change to fit the audience of today. Well, in our next video, we shall be looking uh, into more of this. The director is not